So, first scrub of the day is going to be a little longer scrub and more involved than the subsequent scrub. So, what we're going to do is use a brush and uh, that has a uh, antibacterial in it. These little these little plastic uh, things are for nail care. So basically you want to just clean out under the cuticle. The hands are a little dirty from the marking the breast reduction patient. And when you clean your cuticles, you want to be sure that basically you always sweep out. You never want to sweep back down, whether you're doing it for scrubbing or you're doing it for your own uh, your own nail care because and you use this side just to push the cuticle back a little bit if necessary and then you can also use that little uh, spoon kind of thing to clean under the nail since I never do any actual work outside of work my nails are usually pretty clean and these you don't want to throw in the sink because they stop up the sink so then we want to lather up and then go after each finger separately. And it's important to understand that basically you want to do this the same way every time so that, so that you don't miss something. So each finger has four sides. So I'll scrub the top, the bottom, and each side. Just like when you brush your teeth, you get into a habit or you tie your shoelaces, you get into a certain habit. So you want to follow that habit every time. And that way you don't forget to, to do part of your hand. If you have an open wound of any kind, a rash, uh, you want to consider whether or not you should actually be scrubbing in because the a uh, a rash or an open wound is going to harbor a much higher bacterial count than your normal skin flora. It will also be different skin flora and may be pathologic as opposed to the more benign bacteria that inhabit our skin uh, naturally. So if you notice, I'm going from distal to more proximal and working my way up. And then I'll use that, that brush part, uh, the sponge with the very end, just to do a little bit higher. And now we'll just rinse off and we'll rinse so that the water all goes downhill and doesn't wash right over what we just scrubbed. And there you have it. Thank you. So when drying, you want to pat dry, not rub. And make sure that your hands are pretty dry so you can get inside that glove. Your hands are moist, so never be able to get inside the, inside the uh, glove properly. And we are scrubbed in.